Yo, yo, Daily Fire. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire episode 312, be the one. We've talked about this multiple times on the podcast, on the Daily Fires, but I want you to feel it today. You, you need to get up and think it's all on you. Now, that's a little bit of a pressure, but I fucking love that because I knew when I was getting up in my trailer, Red Dog Road, East Springfield, Ohio, OVAC, Edison Wildcats, motherfucker, I was getting up in my trailer thinking I'm going to be the fucking one. It feels a little bit arrogant to say, but you have to fucking believe in yourself to that level that if I'm the fucking one, it's all different after me. Think about that for a second. And then what is that going to take? It takes vision. It takes work. It takes a ton of fucking perseverance. And it takes belief. To believe in things you can see and touch is no belief at all. But to believe in the unseen is a triumph and a blessing. Abraham Lincoln tattooed right there. Right above the trailer I'm talking about. I I got up in. See what I'm saying? Right beside my great-grandfather Joseph Boone that died in the coal mine explosion in 1935. I see that every fucking day. Because I'm going to be the one. I am the fucking one. Now, I don't have to be the one for anybody else. Just for my family. Just for the Gregories. I had to be the one. Because at the end of the day, I had great elders that taught me. Frank Boone, Patricia Boone, my mom, like my stepdad. Like that taught me. But I still had to be the one to change it all. And so that is like it's heavy, yo. It's heavy to think that you can take that on, but you can because there's so many opportunities out here. When I'm getting up in my trailer, there's no internet. I ain't got no motherfucking cell phone. I ain't even met a fucking personal trainer in my life. Do you hear me? The job that I wanted, I had never met a fucking person that had it. It was a fictitious job that people had in California when I'm in coal country, Ohio. And I was able to do it. There's no fucking excuse right now. There's so many opportunities. It's unbelievable. You can be the one, but you got to know that you're the one. You got to work like you're going to be the one. You got to educate yourself like you're going to be the one. You got to get around great people so you can learn, so you can be around, so you can see under the hood, so you can see what it takes to be the one. You got to develop an attractive personality. You got to educate yourself. You got to go the extra mile. You got to deliver. You got to be accountable. You got to be disciplined. You got to, people got to be able to count on you. You got to do what you say. It's, it's basic ass shit, but you got to do it with a consistent behavior. That's motherfucking relentless. Do you understand me? How many times I wanted to quit? How many times maybe I should have quit? How many times motherfuckers wouldn't have like hated on me if I quit? But I'm the fucking one. Every time I got through some big ass persevering moment, there was another level that came. And then because I'm the fucking one. And every time I would go through and I would use it as a learning experience, I would apply it to the next thing because I'm the fucking one. And I'm not the one for everybody. I just wanted to be the one for my family. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Like, I don't go out here thinking I'm better than anyone else. But I needed to be the guy in my family that changed it forever. And I did it. And I'm still doing it. And I'm still going to continue to push. And so if you want to be that person, you have to understand it's heavy lifting, yo. It's different than just power lifting. It's heavy. It's heavy every fucking day. It, it wears you the fuck out. But that's why you educate. That's why you eat good. That's why you train. That's why you have a routine. That's why you're constantly trying to learn. Because you have to do all of it to persevere to try to be the one. Now, there's a lot of people that once their legacy or I guess their amount of work time cycles through, their families are never the fucking same. And that was my plan. When I'm done, I hang it up one day. When I... This this transfer of wealth happens. I'm going to be the guy that they said when that motherfucker was done, it was never the fucking same. That's the fucking energy it takes 
See, I don't think you guys understand, like, you have to be almost, like, aggressively, like, kind of, like, crazy to pull this shit off. Because every fucking day, that's what it takes. That's what the fuck it takes. If it was easy, everybody would have a fucking gym or a supplement company or do what they love to do. You got to fucking take it through the work. You got to take it through the perseverance. You got to take it through the education, the fucking nose, the trials, the ups, the downs. And you got to still get up the next day with the same type of motivation. You got to still get up the next day and believe in yourself. No one fucking believes in you in the beginning, except maybe your mom. But you have to believe. But I believe because of reps. I believe because I educated myself. I believe because of the trial and error. I believe because of the reps and the fucking work. So when I tell you this is really what happens, it's because I fucking lived it. Not because I fucking read it. Do you understand me? When I tell you if you eat this way and you train this way, you're going to have the result. Do you think it's because somebody told me? No, it's because I fucking lived it. When I tell you this is how I built the business, this is how I created a million, it's because I went and fucking did it. And also, when I tell you I was embarrassed to live in a trailer that cost $150 a month rent, I also fucking lived it. And I'm going to tell you straight up, this life is way better than that fucking life. But it's because I fucking took it and I fucking ran with it. And I didn't take no for a fucking answer. I got lots of no's. Nobody wanted the 180 fitness guy on their team, so I started my own fucking company. You know what? After that shit was over, they kind of wrote me off, so I started another company. So I started teaching. So I started showing. And I just kept building. I, I pivot, I build, I keep going, and I inspire. And I inspire because literally people inspired me. And if you can for one second watch this, and get inspired to be the one. Because somebody in every family has to fucking change it. Whether it's financial IQ, whether it's assets, whether it's just the understanding of it to teach it, somebody has to teach everybody. That's how wealth is created. And somebody has to go execute and change it forever. And are you going to take all of what I just said and apply that? And is the fire so deep that the purpose is... When I'm done with this motherfucker, ain't no one ever the same. That's what it's going to take. All right. Daily Fire episode 312. We out.